These are responses used to inform the caller that the called party is not available at the destination URI. They come with one or more URIs in the contact header field that the caller may use to send new requests to in order to reach the called party. The caller can choose to send new requests to any of the URIs in the contact header field. The caller can send the request out serially, in any order desired, or parallel with multiple requests to different URIs at the same time. There's a method to order the URIs that the caller may choose to use. The 3xx response contact header field could include a Q value with each URIs indicating its priority. The higher the Q value is, the more preferred the URI. For example, if Tarzan called Jane at Camp 1 and received a 3xx response with the following contact header field, Jane might be in Camp 2 or Camp 3 with Camp 3 being a higher possibility. Now Tarzan's SIP phone can choose to do any of the following. Do nothing. Send the request to Camp 2 only in hopes to reach Jane. Send the request to Camp 2 in hopes to reach Jane. If it fails, send another request to Camp 3. Send the request to Camp 3 in hopes to reach Jane. Send a request to Camp 3 in hopes to reach Jane. If it fails, send another request to Camp 2, which is consistent with the Q values in the response. Send a request to Camp 2 and another request to Camp 3 at the same time. So the SIP phone has multiple options and it can choose to do any of those. So let's go over the 3xx redirection responses defined in RFC 3261. 300 multiple choices. This indicates that the cold party can be reached by contacting more than one location at the moment and the next hub doesn't want to make that decision on behalf of the caller. That's why the caller receives a 300 multiple choices response with the list of locations the cold party can be reached at. Let's use an example here. If Tarzan called Jane and Jane is now reachable at multiple camps, for example, Camp 1 and Camp 2, Jane's C proxy could respond with 300 multiple choices instead of making a routing decision and trying to send the call to Jane. The 300 multiple choices response would indicate Tarzan that he needs to send a new request and use one of the two URIs in the response contact header field. Now the 301 moved permanently. This response indicates that the called party can no longer be reached at the requested URI. The caller should try again by using the URI provided in this response's contact header field. This new URI should be cached by the caller and used in future requests. Let's say Tarzan calls Jane at Camp 1 and the SIP proxies realize she is no longer available in Camp 1. Perhaps Camp 1 is closed for good. If Jane has other phones in Camp 2 and Camp 3, the SIP proxies could respond with 301 mood permanently and have her new addresses for Camp 2 and Camp 3 in the contact header field. Here, SIP proxies would also encourage Tarzan to never try Camp 1 again to reach Jane. 302 moved temporarily. This response indicates that the cold party at the moment cannot be reached at the requested URI. The caller should try again by using the URI provided in this response's contact header field, but this new URI must 
not be cashed by the caller. The expires header field could indicate how long this temporary URI is valid. Well, if Tarzan called Jane at camp one and nobody answered, and if Jane has other phones in camp two and camp three, the SIP proxies could respond with 302 mood temporarily and have her new temporary addresses for camp 2 and camp 3 in the contact header field. The C proxies would also indicate Tarzan that camp 1 phone was still operational and next time he should try that phone again first after a certain period of time defined in the expires header field. 305 use proxy. The caller may receive this response from a called party if the called party requires the caller to go through a proxy. The caller, after receiving this response, should send a new request to the URI in the responses contact header field, which points to a proxy. Well, let's say Tarzan calls Jane, but the camp security is so tight. Tarzan has to go through another SIP proxy in order to talk to Jane. Well, Jane's phone could respond the call with 305 use proxy and provide Tarzan the SIP proxy to use in the contact header field. 380 alternative service. Now this final response defined in RFC 3261 is an indication that the call was not successful but the caller could use another medium to reach the called party. The alternative medium would be defined in the message body of the response. Well, let's say Jane has a headache, she doesn't want to talk to anyone but she is chatting with close friends using a chat application. Whether she unplugs the phone or simply doesn't answer the calls, when Tarzan calls Jane, he is not able to talk to her. The response from C proxies, however, is 380 alternative service indicating that Jane might be reachable via chat.